Hello friends, thank you so much for joining me on this channel. In today's video, I will discuss the cost of MRCS ENT, the preparation cost, the exam fees and the travel expenditure. In case you don't know, MRCS ENT consists of two exams, MRCS Part A followed by MRCS ENT OSCE. Let's discuss the cost of MRCS Part A first. Before I delve deeper into this topic, I must tell you that the figures you see on the screen are subject to change in the future. In fact, some figures may not be true even in January 2024 as I record this video. I am merely highlighting these figures because this is the sum I had to pay when I was preparing for MRCS Part A. So the application fees for MRCS Part A was 550 British pounds. The online subscription fees for EMRCS was 35 British pounds. And the online subscription fees for past test was 135 British pounds. I had bought three textbooks. Raftery cost me around 2400 Indian rupees whereas the two books by past test cost me around 1500 Indian rupees each. Now let's discuss the cost of MRCS ENT OSCE. The application fees for MRCS ENT OSCE is almost double that of MRCS Part A and it was around 997 British pounds when I appeared in MRCS ENT OSCE. The visa that I had applied for cost me around 10,000 Indian rupees. I had bought a textbook uh, by Masterpass which cost me around 4,500 Indian rupees. I had also taken an online coaching course provided by Dr. Osama Salim which cost me around 300 British pounds and the flight tickets to and from Glasgow cost me around 1 lakh Indian rupees. I had booked a week long stay in Glasgow which cost me around 63,000 Indian rupees. Once I passed MRCS ENT OSCE, I became a member of the Royal College of Surgeons by paying a sum of 225 British pounds. So just to recap, MRCS Part A cost me around 80,000 Indian rupees. MRCS ENT OSCE cost me north of 3 lakh Indian rupees. And the membership to the Royal College of Surgeons of England cost me around 24,000 Indian rupees, bringing the grand total somewhere north of 4 lakh 20,000 Indian rupees or 420,000 Indian rupees for the benefit of people overseas. Now that you have become a member of the Royal College of Surgeons, the option of moving to the UK does exist. But just by becoming a member of the Royal College of Surgeons, you cannot move to the UK. You need to complete a few more steps. What are they? You need to prove that you are proficient in the use of the English language. So you need to appear in an English language exam like Occupational English Test, which costs 587 Australian dollars. You need to verify your medical credentials through EPIC, which would cost you around 330 US dollars. And you need to register with the United Kingdom General Medical Council, which would cost you 400 Brit 408 British pounds. And I think GMC registration is something you need to renew every year. So this brings the grand total to somewhere around 1 lakh 2000 Indian rupees. Again, for the benefit of viewers from outside India, that's around 102,000 Indian rupees. Taken together, the total cost of moving to the UK after MRCS comes to Rs. 
फाइव लैख ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड वन ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स टू इंडियन रुपीज और फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ ओवरसीज ओवरसीज व्यूअर्स समवेयर नॉर्थ ऑफ सिक्स थाउजेंड यूएस डॉलर आई होप दिस वीडियो हेल्प यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज आस्क मी इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो आई सी यू सून इन द नेक्स्ट वन टेक केयर